first, let's just talk about what the problem is. And the problem is that you cannot use Adobe InDesign like you can Microsoft Word. And here's what I mean by that. Now, inside Adobe InDesign, if we want to put some text in, we simply go over to the type tool and that is going to give us a cursor which wants us to then create a text box. So we have to guesstimate how much space we think that text is going to take up. So I might guess that my headline is going to take up this much space, but I really don't know uh, because I am not able to just think of uh, fonts and sizes in my brain, but let's say I use a Dido 30 and I'm going to say something like InDesign is the greatest tool that has ever been invented. And so I'm typing and I don't have any visual feedback because now I received, I'm sure you've seen this before, the little red uh, cross over here to the right of my text box, which tells me that I have what's called text overflow. And I have overflown the space that I have allocated for my text box because I really wasn't sure and I just kind of guessed. So there are two ways to solve this problem. Uh, both of them, I think, kind of cumbersome and take up time. One is you can double click on this icon right here. You can hover your mouse over the bottom of the text box. And once you double click, it will resize the bottom portion of that text box to fit in all of that text. So in essence, it's showing you, it's doing a carriage return for you, something that Microsoft Word does really easily. So how can we get away from this so we don't have to keep doing this? Because inevitably, what's going to happen, even if I start typing again, and I say Adobe Creative Cloud is even, better. And of course, again, I run into the same problem, right? I again have this red text overflow, right? So naturally, I know what you're thinking. Probably the most likely solution is to create a very huge text box. Yes, you could do that. So one option, let's say you want to use this like Microsoft Word, you could simply go over here and you could make that text box fill up the entire page. And we can start typing again um, in design. Let me change that font so it turns over a little faster. Uh, Dido, just make this 48, is the greatest Adobe Creative Cloud tool there is. So you can see I have plenty of space in my text box, so it's automatically going to return for me. However, there may be situations where you're just not sure how much space it's going to take. You don't want to bother with that. So you maybe just want Adobe InDesign to do the carriage return for you and simply resize that text box. Well, the good news is you can. There is a way to do that. So let me show you. So From Pretty Fabulous Designs, and I help online businesses create beautiful digital downloads using Adobe InDesign. So if this sounds like you or something that you are interested in, make sure to hit the subscribe button below. I post new videos every Monday and Thursday. So let's pretend we have our smaller text box up here again, and you are simply going to go over to Object, Text Frame Options, and you're going to choose auto size. I know who would have thought auto size. And it's pretty much always set to off as the default. I shouldn't say pretty much, it's 100% set to off. So you're going to say height only because we only want to change the height. We don't want a long line if we say width that just goes on and on forever off the page. Uh, I suppose unless you're making maybe one of those big 50 foot flyers that go on the back of an airplane, but otherwise we're going to assume you want to use this like Microsoft Word and we're going to have it centered at the top because you never write Microsoft Word and have it fill up from the middle. You go from the top down. So we are going to uh, have our text start at the top and go down and we're going to say, okay. So now you can see the text overflow is gone. And in fact, because I've changed this, it should auto size that box for me. So so um, purchasing Adobe by itself. So you can see it just went ahead and I'll just type stuff and it just goes over and does carriage returns for me. 
So that's all you need to do. That's my quick tip for today. And you know, I always tell people to start their documents in Microsoft Word and then import it in here. And that is because the proofreading spell check is not very good inside Adobe InDesign. I'm not even sure why they say they have spell check because it's pretty much useless. So you really need Microsoft Word to get a good spell check in. Uh, but again, that would be for a large book. Sometimes you just have a lot of text that maybe you want to overflow onto a large section of the page. And this is a great solution. Um, or maybe you just need to write a couple pages so you don't want to open up Microsoft Word and import it. All right, I hope that was helpful and check out the next tutorial, which is how to import Microsoft Word into InDesign. Bye.